On today's video, I'm going to show you how to delete record types and specifically we're going to work with account record types. So step one is to go to our setup. Once we get to setup, we get to our object manager and we select account. We scroll down the list and we select record types. So once we get to our record types, we can see that we have four different record types, organization, nonprofit, household, and educational institution. And we're going to focus on deleting educational institution as well as nonprofit. So we'll start with educational institution and we'll try to delete it. Once we try to delete it, we can see that we can only delete it if it's an inactive record type. So we get back to our record type and we select edit. We get to the edit page, we ensure this active checkbox is unchecked and we save. Once we save, we can get back to our record types and we can once again select and delete and we can get rid of our educational institution and we'd like to replace it with organization. And we're done. Then we'll move on to nonprofit. We'll go ahead and edit our nonprofit. Make sure it's not active before we can proceed with deleting it. I'm going to click save. So once we click save, we can see that this record type cannot be deactivated because the following profiles use it as a default record type. So we're going to start with our standard user. So we right click that. And once we open up our standard user and we scroll down to our record type, we see this is our standard record type settings, accounts. So nonprofit is a default. We can always edit, click on nonprofit, remove it. We replace it with organization and we can save. And then we go right back to our record types. We get back to our record types and refresh. We see that we're left with two profiles that we now have to work with and edit. So we then again, we open our chatter free user on another tab. And when we open our chatter free user and scroll down, we see that we do not have the option to open up the record type to be able to edit it. Even if we click edit, we still do not have the record type on this page to be able to edit it. So what we do is we then switch to classic. And once we get to Salesforce classic, we go to our setup. And when we get to our setup, we're going to open up our record types. And we'll select our account record type. And then once again, we can see these are still our, our various record types. And the one we're trying to get rid of is the nonprofit. So once again, we'll click on edit. We'll deactivate, save. That pops up. Then here we'll open our standard platform user. When we open our standard platform user and scroll down to the bottom of the page, we see we have accounts, nonprofit default. So we'll edit that and we get to this specific page. And this is the page that we want to work with to be able to hack the chatter free user that we are unable to get to. So once again, I'll open Chatter on another tab. So I have my Chatter free user, but I'm unable to edit my Chatter free user. So I'll click on Edit, and this is so I can get specific page and user IDs on it. So I'll click on my link here. I have a page ID and I have a user ID, and I'll get to this page as well. If I click on my URL here, I have an ID here as well as I have the user ID on the end here. So I get back to this, I grab this ID, copy, get here, paste it right there. When I get back here to my chatter, click on my user ID, 
go back here, paste my user ID, enter. Once I select enter, I can see nonprofit there and the user profile is chatter free user. So I can remove that. Then I can replace it with organization and then I can save. Perfect. And I can also then go back to my initial uh, record type uh, page. I can try once again to save. When I try to save, I see that chatter has been removed and I can easily remove the standard platform user. So once again, I'm opening another tab. I'm gonna scroll down to my record type. I'm going to edit. I'm going to remove nonprofit. Replace it with organization and I'm going to save. Perfect. Get back to our page here. Save. Perfect. Now we can see that our nonprofit is not active anymore and we can proceed with deleting it. Replacing it with organization. Done. And now we're left with two record types. So we're left with two record types. I can even go back to Lightning at this point. I can click on my record types. And once I refresh, I am left with the two record types. So once again, the most important thing to pay attention to was those IDs in order to be able to get to the correct page to be able to edit the record type.